Hey everyone, we're here in Delray, Florida, and I want to review this beautiful home that was designed by Stoff Cooney Architects. It was built by Cudmore Builders out of Boca, and the exterior design elements were manufactured by Hardy Boys. So this house is like a coastal style Cape Cod hybrid. I love this house. It's really well detailed. All of the parts and pieces that you're gonna see today are our components manufactured at Hardy Boys. From the columns, the railings, the soffit systems, the window surrounds, the beams. You know, this is a real highly detailed home. So come on in, let me show you what we got. All right, so let's start out with just talking about this front elevation, the design feature of the, just the entryway. And going, the entryway carries from these bottom huge robust columns that go up into banding and trim details, up into beautiful columns and beams, and they finish with a beautiful arched louver that's on the roof. And it's so gorgeous in detailing. So let's start with this entryway and let's talk about these columns, because they are really important to the design of a home. So these are our Montego Bay columns. Now these are a first floor column on a two-story house, very large in scale. And this is what you can't see in the catalog that we can make a column of any size. So the beauty of this is the architect drew the elevation and created the size and then we just fabricated it to his detail. So on this Montego Bay column, what you'll notice is the bottom is wider than the top. So it's a tapered column. We just call it Montego Bay because we're very coastal. Each of these components, the base, the asterisk, and the capital are in our catalog that you can find at hardyboysinc.com. And what you'll see is you can change it. You can make this your own. You can make the column even wider at the bottom if you so choose. And even skinnier at the top. It's really up to you to design as you want. Everything you see is made at Hardy Boys. From the columns to the beams, the transition brand, the tongue and groove soffit and rafter tails, the railings, the second floor columns, the ceiling kits, the beam surrounds. I mean, this is an HB Elements exterior design feature. And this is detailing at a different level. This was all built in a kit. Every component that you see in this video is part of a kit. And this is what Hardy Boys does. We manufacture components and kits to make installation easier, to take time out of the job from guys fabricating in the garage to putting it in our factory and making it precise and beautiful and easy to install. There's no other better way, I promise you. And now we have a system and a format. You bring your ceiling measurements, we do a layout, you pick out what kind of ceiling you want, whether it's a smooth, whether it's a V-groove, whether it's a nickel joint, beams, different size. You'll see on this, each of the beams, they were scaled out by the architect. And then we put our custom Hardy Boys crown molding in this coffered ceiling. And I just can't tell you how much I love the design that Randy Stoft and Stoft Cooney Architects and the team over there put together on this house. They made this so easy for us because they know what to do when it comes to design. I'm standing here on a Hardy Boys porch that was designed by Stoft Cooney Architects and I'm going to go over the parts and pieces that create a design feature. We have our column, we have our railings, we have our window and door trim surrounds, we have our ceiling system and beams, we have our patio beam wraps, we have our exterior soffit system with rafter tails and tongue and groove and freeze board and fascia. It becomes a unified design feature when you look at all the parts and pieces together. They all tie together to become a feature. And you're not like looking at this house and like looking up and like, hey, look at those columns. It's like, hey, look at that porch. Look at that design feature and how well it looks all together. So this is our Montego Bay column. When the architect was picking out details, he went into our catalog and said, I love this base. I love this astragal and I like this capital. They all tie together, they all have, a, they're like a family of wraps. And I think that that's a big part of designing is where you take products and you kind of keep them all in a similar look. So you have a unified look around the house. 
So each one of these inlays in this coffered ceiling was an individual panel of tongue groove. So there's no expansion contraction. There's no black lines created. There's no maintenance on that other than just cleaning it and painting it. And then we put the beams and our custom cove crown and our freeze board and wrapped our structural beam and then they kind of connect with the soffit system outside and the timber frame size that it would be and how the tongue and groove on the soffit is the same as the tongue and groove on the ceiling and you know when you look at all this together the hierarchy of architecture how we have these really large columns downstairs that go into a bigger beam that come up into a smaller column into smaller beams it really is an amazing feature so design features. We talked about the front elevation, the entryway. We talked about the second floor porch and all the products and how them together form continuity and design. And then this elevation over here has a really cool feature where the architect, Stoff Cooney, took columns that are typically used to pr promote porch detailing and used them on the wall and changed them out from your standard corners to now corner columns, really cool. Another thing that was done here was they used the columns to make the sides of the windows and they doubled up the rafter tails on the soffit system. This is a very unique detail. I haven't seen it that often and I love it. It's very cool. You know, another feature on this house that's really nice is the recess panel detail underneath the window on the second floor that you can see up there next to that patio. It's, it's just a detail. It's a design feature. So uh, you know what? I'm gonna save the best for last. Let's go to the back of the house and let me show you the outdoor living. All right, so now we're on the back elevation of the home and this is where everybody's entertaining. And I feel like this is where a lot of people want to invest time and energy and their budgets to the outdoor living and entertaining piece. So look at what we made here. Hardy Boys created this large custom window surround. And it really, I love how these, the detailing all ties together. Even though it's the huge window, it's, it's still the same as the smaller windows. All the details have unity. Another great deal, if you'll look up, up at underneath that window, just like in the front elevation, they had the shaker panel detail underneath the windows. I love that. I love how the front and the back have that same feel and you still have that same charming character even when you're in the backyard. All these columns and window surrounds are all the components that we manufactured at Hardy Boys. Really good looking, obviously a different detail. Can't do Montego Bays because we have windows so we can't have that tapered look. So these are our Lucia columns with the windows and they're incorporated into the window design. On this cantilevered porch, you see these large decorative beams that look like they're holding up that patio deck. And then we have the TNG above it. It looks like a traditional timber framed home where you have these large floor joists coming out and supporting the deck above. And it's just really, really cool detailing. We did everything from the patio edges, all the freeze board, every piece of exterior detail on this house was fabricated at Hardy Boys. Man, that was a lot of fun. The team over at Stoff Cooney Architects, I mean, incredible job. Uh, Cudmore Builders and the team over there, they really brought this thing home. We enjoyed it and there's a lot of details, a lot of Hardy Boys details, really good stuff. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Hey, like and subscribe and uh, follow us. We're on Facebook, Instagram, and we're just trying to show everybody what we got going on.